In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can quickly create a stylized candy cane, kind of like a blender inspired render, but we're going to use Maya for it. And um, little to no UVing, procedural shader, hardly any modeling. So let's jump into Maya. First thing you're going to do is to create a cylinder. I'm just going to hit F. Um, and then either in the channel box here or in the attribute you're going to find your cylinders creation parameters and I'm going to drop the radius down I'm going to choose 0.05 you can make yours thinner or thicker it's up to you um, and then subdivision axis we don't need that many subdivisions on something so simple so I'm going to change that to 12 but then what we want to do here is add some subdivisions in the height kind of 20 to 30 because we're going to bend this later for the candy cane so we need the subdivisions there now what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump into making the shader now and then we'll come back in a bit and actually bend it into the candy cane shape so to set up just so you guys can see it i'm just going to quickly add a sky dome light and i'm going to turn down the camera visibility to zero um, and then I'm going to change my viewport renderer to Arnold so you guys can see um, as we create the shader then I'm going to select the cylinder and to create the shader we're going to assign a new Arnold standard surface okay what have we got here I'm just going to zoom in a bit okay and I'm just going to map this, we don't need the uh, sky dome that we created. So here's our standard surface and what we're going to get is a checker. So type in here check and create a checker. And this is going to be our candy cane. We're going to go on the place 2D texture and we're going to turn the repeat UV down to 0 and then 30 okay and I'll show you what that's done in a second and then we also need to create an AI ramp and we want the RGB one and then to connect these three things up sorry I don't have much real estate here I'm just going to close that because I don't need to create anything else we're going to take the out color of the checker press this little plus and grab any of them and put it into the input of the RGB ramp and then we're going to take the out colour of the ramp into the base colour of the standard surface and you'll see in a second this all starts to make sense so we're going to change on the ramp this type to custom and straight away we can see we get these stripes going round our um, cylinder so that's cool so what we're going to do is change the colour from black here to a red or whatever colour candy cane you want um, and then the interpolation here you can leave it as linear if you want like a slight fall off between the colours or if you change it to none it will be kind of very straight um, blocks of colour and then what we need to do is we obviously need to have it so that these are diagonal rather than straight so we're going to go back to the checkers 2d texture and here we have something called rotate frame and so if we use that we can quickly rotate and get this kind of candy cane look going one thing to note which i'll point out now if I just shift this over come on there we go is if we rotate around we are gonna have a seam here um, and so in order to get rid of that you will want to kind of choose a value that hides that seam so something around the 15 yeah that is the shader mm, what I'm, one thing I'm just going to quickly do as well on the surface shader is I'm going to add a coat so turn the weight of the coat up to one and that just adds like kind of a gloss over the top of the colour so I can close my hyper shade now and then we're going to focus on actually bending this so select your cylinder and go to the animation drop down menu and then we're going to go to deform nonlinear bend 
okay we have got a bend handle in there um, and it'll be selected so you can either go to your attribute editor or you can find it in the channel box as well and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the curvature all the way up to 180 to curve this and then we're going to take the low bound and set that to zero so what that's doing is it's only curving the high bit which is a bit above the middle and then I'm just going to push the high bound a bit higher because I eventually want this candy cane to sort of curve further round when we do the next step and then the last step that I'm going to do is I'm going to just move this to kind of change the curvature of the candy cane so I'm moving it down a bit and I'm moving it across and what that's doing is just changing the shape of the candy cane so that is the candy cane finished essentially there's just one more thing that you might want to do depending on how your candy cane is viewed um, and that is if we have a look you'll see that the caps of the candy cane here and I'm just gonna hit three to smooth it um, are showing the stripes so one thing that uh, you might want to do is if we go back to the modeling menu and we go to UV UV editor what we can do is right click choose UV shell grab a cap and just scale it down so that it's really tiny just fill it with a single color um, and I'm probably gonna go for the white color um, something like that just so it's less obvious um, if you have that part and I just do the same here so that's all the UV and that we're gonna do really you can obviously try and like line it up if you wanted to um, but if you're not gonna see the bottom of the candy cane you know you could do something like that if you're not gonna see the bottom of the candy cane then you probably don't want to bother because this is just a simple tutorial you know we are going for kind of blender style things and I always see blender tutorials and they, people just whiz through them they don't really think about um, them being like industry standard or anything so that's what I'm going for with this I think it still looks great okay so that's the candy cane done